What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boxing P. I hope everybody doing all right this morning. Um, just hopping in with another video. Um, this one is kind of like a tragic story. It's a lot of tragic stories in boxing. Um, everybody's not a Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, or some of the guys that we see who um, went on to become great in the sport. But today I want to touch on um, super middleweight James Butler, a.k.a. the Harlem Hammer. Um, like I said, he was born in Harlem, New York. He's a former light heavyweight and a former USBA super middleweight champion. Um, he was a solid fighter coming out of New York, you know what I'm saying, working his way up the ranks. Um, but he was also known to be a loose cannon, you know. He was known to have a quick temper and get into it with other fighters in the boxing gyms, you know. Like I say, some fighters can turn it on and off, but some fighters is not that easy. And um, James Butler was one of those guys who just had that quick temper. He could snap, you know what I'm saying, at the drop of a dime. It, he's known for like a couple of things, but one of his most infamous fights is when he was fighting um, Richard Grant, you know what I'm saying? Um, these guys fought to a 12 round decision, unanimous decision by Grant. And um, after the fight, James Butler sucker punched him, you know what I'm saying? Right in the jaw, like I think dislocated his jaw or something. So this was like one of the first public scenes that we saw of uh, James Butler, you know what I'm saying? Kind of breaking down. But that fight with Grant and Butler kind of, you know, turned his career upside down. You know, after that, he went on to get in trouble and just career just went 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 down after that. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of the worst things you can do with boxing, bad sportsmanship. You can get banned from the sport. Nobody um, respects a sore loser or somebody who sucker punches their opponent. Man, it was just it was just a dirty thing to do. But um, he was down on his luck. But <clears throat> he wound up meeting Sam Kellerman in the boxing gym, who took a liking to him. You know, Sam Kellerman, brother of Max Kellerman, you know, was a a writer at the time for ESPN covering boxing. And he was working in the local gym where James Butler happened to be training. And these guys formed um, an unlikely bond. You know what I'm saying? Um, he took to the Harlem Hammer and the Harlem Hammer took to him. Um, so much that... Kellerman actually was letting James Butler, you know, stay in his apartment while, you know, he got himself together. You know what I mean? Like I said, these guys took a liking to each other. But at some point, at some time, something went left and um, James Butler wound up murdering Sam Kellerman. You know what I'm saying? Um, the motive for the murder never was really... They never really got to the bottom of it, but you know what I'm saying? He he definitely was um, the suspect in Sam Callum's murder and eventually charged. And I think he got like 33 years for the murder. Um, I didn't really know about that, man. I don't know if this would led Max Kellerman into boxing, covering boxing and you know, did he want to follow in his brother's footsteps? And I kind of wonder how he feels about this guy murdering, a, a boxer murdering his brother. Um, I never really knew that about Max Kellerman, but I thought that that was um, a tragic event. But um, pretty much, it's a lot more to the story, but I just want to do a quick synopsis. And um, that's pretty much it. Like right now, he's, he's in prison, pretty much just wasting away, you know what I'm saying? Wasted talent. And um, the fact that he took out Sam Kellerman, who I like Max and Sam probably was better than Max. You know what I'm saying? As far as 
cover in the sport of boxing, and I, I don't know, but um, it was just a sad, sad story for all the parties involved in it. Um, so that's all I really got, man. Y'all hop in the comments and let me know what y'all familiar with James Butler. Uh, we all familiar with him murdering um, Max Kellerman's brother. You know, I know a lot of people remember him from that sucker punch on Grant, but um, you know, he was sent in the twenty. He was sentenced to twenty nine years. I'm sorry, not 33, 29 years and four months in prison for the murder. Um, you know, of Sam Kellerman, he pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and arson on April 5th. But let me know what y'all think about this tragic story. Um, I want to thank everybody supporting, following, helping my um, channel grow. All my new subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, like I say, I'm going to try to continue with good content, original content. And interesting content, but um, like I say, y'all make sure y'all like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, my cash app is in the description if y'all want to donate to the channel. If you don't, that's cool too, but the cash app is in the description. But um, that's all I really got, man. It's your boy P, and I just want to touch on this story, man. It's a, um, it was an interesting story, like a lot of stories in boxing, man. These guys have some very interesting backstories, which some of them turn out to be great, and some of them turn out to be tragic, like this one. So, um, like I said, it's your boy P, um, and that's all I really got. So I'm out later.